Mic check one two one two. Cloud tokens here. Make sure you subscribe for more content. If you don't, I will harass you in the comments. This is a known fact. Do not test me. I right, salute. So Rondo number nine has been exposed as a snitch. He snitched on his co-defendant, C Day, and here's the paperwork to prove it. Now this paperwork here is from IllinoisCourts.gov, which is a legit website. It's also in the link in the bio of Tay 600, who the people made out to be Ratatouille. But in fact, Rondo number nine was in the sewers like Master Splinter the entire time. Now what I'm about to read on the court documents is number six and number seven. I'm gonna read you the important sentences that proves Rondo number nine, Massey was the snitch. Massey argues that his trial counsel should have more vigorously pursued a theory that Early or Ely was the sole shooter and that Massey was not accountable for Ely's actions. More specifically, Massey argues that counsel should have moved to sever trial, objected to admission of incriminating hearsay statements from Ely, argued in closing that Ely was the sole shooter, that's the snitch part, argued in closing that Ely was the sole shooter and objected to Ely's closing statements that Ely was not the shooter. So Ely say he wasn't the shooter and Massey who was Rondo number nine say he was the shooter. Now here's the worst part. Ely took, who was C Day, took full responsibility for everything and made sure he said Rondo did nothing. He did not place him at the scene. He didn't say a thing. And Rondo number nine ratted him out. And that's the truth. Tay 600 been dragged through the mud. Lost a music career, basically. Lost reputation in the streets. Over a lie. And the whole time Rondo got the most respect. Sitting in jail. Yeah, he took that time. Football numbers. Because he ain't snitch. And the whole time. He passed that rock straight to C Day and got him convicted of murder. But I'm happy to say I'm finally in peace. But not because the real snitch has been revealed. But I finally know why Rondo number nine was 6ix9ine's biggest inspiration. He named a song after him, he recited his lyrics. And now it all makes sense. Two rats. Two snitches. Bit the motherfucking cheese. Now y'all let me know what y'all think. I know a lot of dick riders are gonna say, it's not real, it's not real. When you literally can go to the website, official website, and see it for yourself. But shout out to C Day. He stayed strong. Now he got paid a price for what he did. And Rondo.